it's good to have you back folks. I am here to talk to you about a couple of changes I made since the last video. So I was talking about um, the array expansion class that I created in the last video and my main point was I was adding things to arrays and um, I kept rewriting the same four or five lines of code so I wanted to create a more generalized function and call it from any other script. But um, what I had previously done ended up with the following two lines of code, oh these ones, these two lines of code right here and I found out after that there was actually a cleaner way to do this which does remove a little bit of typing um, and it just makes a little bit more sense, less, it's less memory reliant. So as you can see here there was some reference to array expansion which I have now changed to array expansion methods and um, it had a couple of variables being passed in and that actually it was a little bit more naive I would say uh, what I should have done is the following so you'll notice these functions have changed ever so slightly just up at the top um, it now says it is static. I did have to change the class to static. And you'll notice in the parameters, I've added the this keyword. So what that does is it changes this to an extension method. And extension methods will allow me to extend off of any array object um, so that I can do this function from some array object that I started with. So what that means is if I take the my people array, I can write code like this, my people dot add to array, instead of having to go array expansion dot add to array and then pass in my people. I can just do my people dot add to array. Now notice something kind of interesting with the extension method. There are two parameters here, or at least it looks like two parameters. However, in reality, it's just one parameter. Since uh, the first parameter, this array, since that's going to be assumed um, as part of the extension, you don't have to type in that parameter. In fact, if you do, it'll give you an error. The only parameter in this case was now object O. So for the second example, since there were originally three parameters, now it's been reduced to two. So to show you what these look like, um, we've got our first example, add to array. Um, you'll notice I also created a couple other functions. And then uh, here is another example, this one with an int array. Um, we use the, the remove function. I'll show you guys that one too. Um, here's add to array at index using the extension method. Notice how it only has two parameters. And this goes into the numbers array as part of the extension method. So I think this, this update is, it was pretty cool. Um, definitely worth changing and it'll make coding a little bit easier to think through because it'll require less um, brain power, less memory. So let me show you the remove functions because you might be interested in those. I'm gonna hide the, the big one first and then show you the easy one. Remove from array at index. You can go ahead and pause the screen now if you wanna look through this. Uh, I did add a debug statement, which you can take out if you really want to. It just tells you if the array has no elements to remove and you try to remove it, it'll put the debug statement up there. So in this case, we're just checking if the length is greater than zero, because if it's not, you don't want to remove anything. If the length is greater than zero, then we're going to create a second array object. Um, same thing as last time, we basically just copied and pasted the add to array at index and put it here, changed a couple of things. So this is one of the changes. Instead of being a plus one, it is now a minus one because we want an array that's smaller. And then um, we're going to go from zero to index and we'll set the value to a's value i. And then from index to the length, it'll be now a plus one instead of a, I think before it was a minus one. Yeah, it was a minus one. We've changed it to a plus one. We don't need the third part to be set value O index because we're actually getting rid of the, the index. 
you'll notice there's also no object O because we don't care what's at that index. We're just removing that value. And then at the end, I did the whole A equals B return A. But like I said before, you could also just omit this and then just return B. Okay, so now let's go into the bigger one, array remove. So let me tell you about this array first, or sorry, this method first. Remove will actually remove an object O every time it appears in the array. So that means um, every element in the array that has the value that's the same as object O will get removed from the array. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that and then I'll actually, you know what, I'll leave this code. It's right here on the screen. You can uh, pause the video and then take a look at any part that you need to here. I did include a debug statement, which tells you uh, if you're trying to pass in the wrong type, um, it'll give you a mismatch statement here. All right, so let's take a look at what it does now. I have gone in and updated my people so that it has now four entries, Carl, Carl, Derp, and Carl. And then numbers has one, two, three entries, one, one, and two. And then the next number is currently set to one, and then my man is set to Carl. So I'm gonna hit play. And if I hit space, then as you can see, I have removed from my people and removed from numbers. So the only remaining elements are the one that was not Carl and the one that was not one. So that's what remove does. It just takes away all the elements of a specific value. Now I did make a change to the character class because um, I wanted to have the equals function work with it. So really all I did was I hovered over character and then pressed control period. And it gives you the option to automatically generate the equals and the get hash code. So I just chose that option and it did all of this for me. I didn't have to type any of that in. So just to kind of show you what it's like, I'm going to take all of this and delete it. And then if I mouse over character, I can get rid of this part as well because I deleted all that. So I'll just press control period, generate equals and get hash code. I check those boxes, clicked OK, hit save, and it does all that part for me. You'll notice I do use the equals function a couple of times in the remove and um, I, I didn't need it for remove from array at the index. In remove, I was using equals to figure out if the thing was the actual object that I fed in. I couldn't use the double equal sign because the double equal sign actually points to a specific place in the memory. And so even if the value is the same, you might still get um, not equal. You might still get false even if the value was the same, if it was in a different place in memory. So that's my update. Um, it was pretty cool. I like the whole extension methods idea. It's the first time I heard of it and started playing around with it. So um, try it out and update your projects, make cool stuff. There is a subscribe button up top as well as a like button down below. If you felt like this was a helpful or informative video, please hit both buttons and I'll see you guys in the next video.